Future Agriculture's Consortium um, is a unique uh, consortium uh, in the sense that uh, it looks at uh, policy from a completely different, uh, a different perspective. In the past, policy um, analysis has been kind of a thinking of a straightforward uh, process. But um, uh, Future Agriculture's Consortium looks at it as a nuanced process. Uh, it's almost like a black box that you put something in the black box and different combinations will come out. And I think this is very important for African agriculture, especially for policymakers. A common trend right now, especially with the coming up of CADA process, uh, the whole idea that African countries should own the processes of development. And therefore, it is uh, consistent with the current global thinking uh, and international thinking and also within Africans themselves that if we own the process then they are likely to be um, uh, have more impact on what we do um, rather than being managed from very far away so I think it's an opportune time uh, that uh, FAG moves from UK to Africa so that we can own the process and therefore if something goes wrong we're happy with it if it doesn't go wrong then we have ourselves to blame the kenya hub is a unique one um, in the sense that we are actually um, in the horn of africa and uh, one of the issues of uh, the horn of africa of course we're not only a crowd of civilization um, but also uh, pastoralism uh, is an important theme in the Horn of Africa, among other themes. And that uniqueness and the countries themselves and then the host institutions uh, and the people, the team uh, that we have around will make uh, the, uh, the, the hub very successful. And I think this is very exciting. Also to add that uh, Nairobi is a gateway um, for UN agencies, uh, many policy researchers, uh, many opinion leaders pass through Nairobi and it will be op uh, very important to have sessions with them and, and also share with the rest of the hubs.